All right, I don't want to drive that too much into the ground, <clears throat> but uh, but that, that, I think those uh, will be very helpful. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Now, the other thing is there's this little cog in the upper right-hand corner. This cog becomes very important. This cog is where you can change. You already saw that it can change themes. Now, there's a place where you can actually click on help if you ever needed problems. Like, for example, if you wanted to learn more about the... Um, to become an expert, you can watch videos, and there's Gmail information for admin assistance. You won't need that. Using Gmail, switch from Outlook, tips and tricks on, on how to do those things. If you wanted to, to do, what did I call them? I called them not rules, but I called them filters. If you wanted to learn about filters, you type in filters, and, and uh, filters will, will, will show up eventually. <clears throat> there's even, a, in the Google Chrome browser, there's even a cool thing you can even Type in uh, "Speak Now" filters. See how it how, how that Google browser worked. So, anyway, that, that was a little aside. But <clears throat> the um, that that little cog is very important. If I go in the right hand corner and go to settings, there's a bunch of things that you can change within this setup. One of the things that uh, you'll notice is that you one of the things at the very beginning. And this may look intimidating. I don't want it to be intimidating to you because if you ever need help on whatever these things can do, you just click to the left and click on learn more. And there's all kinds of information on how to learn more about what's going on. So it's, it's very, very helpful. Uh, but one of the things that we kind of look, look at is we, 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 we look at different things to show people. Uh, what can be done. One of the things is you can show how many emails you can have. If I just want 10 emails showing at once, I cl click change that, click on save settings, go back and now I'm only showing one of 10. And then I hit the next page up here, that's 11 of 20. And then 21 of 28. So you can see 10 at a time if it's too confusing for you. So those are the kind of settings that you can change. Let's see, what else can we do? <clears throat> Um, you can change your picture. If you have a picture, you can put your picture up on there as a profile. Here's a, a great thing, signatures. You can actually place a signature in there. So if you have a business or whatever, or, you know, wanted to put, you know, email at the bottom, that sort of thing, even though it's on there already, you can put, you know, email kmerchant at gmavt.net, that sort of thing. <clears throat> You can also, there's also a great vacation responder. You can have a va vacation responder that sets up, you know, for uh, uh, December 13th out to the 21st. I'm going to be out of my office. You'll have a, a, a detailed message here. The other thing that's really cool on this is this. If you have people in your contacts, that is, you have an address book and you populate it on this, and we'll talk about that a little bit and how you do that, there's two options for vacation responder. You can set this box so that it only sends a response to people in your contacts. Because you don't want to just send to anybody, right? If somebody sends you an email, you don't want to say, hey, I'm out on vacation in Florida. You know, the keys are underneath the mat, outs, underneath the, the thing that looks like a rock that's really a plastic key holder. Uh, just enter the house. You, you don't want to say that, right? You, you only want to reply to people that you trust. And, and typically, those are people in your contacts. So that, that's a really handy little feature. So. So that's just on this one page. Any, anything that you change here, you have to scroll all the way down and click on Save Ch Changes. I don't know why they don't have it on the top. It's just kind of the way it is. It's just kind of the way it works. Uh, we might talk to them about that. But I'm going to shut my autoresponder off, get it back to normal. And then I'm going to go to this cog, click on Settings again. I want to show you a few other things. There is a chat feature, too. I have it turned off, but you can also... Uh, turn it on if you want to. By default, it's on, and usually it sits in the right-hand corner, but mine uh, shows up in the left-hand corner. Now, how this works is you can add people, search for people. Like, if you know the email address of somebody, uh, of, like, for example, Tom Matthews, uh, I want to invite him to chat. So there he is. I want to invite to chat, and it sent out an invitation to Tom to chat if he wants to. So it's kind of a cool, it's, it's integrated into this. If they have a webcam, and, it's, and I don't have one, but if they have one, they can, you can, if you have a webcam, you can actually do a video chat with them. So here, here's a great thing that's a part of this. Uh, because of this suite of products that you have, you normally would have had to use Skype, right? You download another 
product, software tool, you install it on a computer, it's not a big deal, it doesn't take a lot of memory, but it's one more thing sitting on your computer, right? One more uh, username and password you have to remember because you have a new Skype account. Oh, what's my password for Skype? In this, it's all integrated. So anybody on our service who uses our service in this webmail service, if you know that they're on, and you will know, they'll have a little green, they'll have a little green uh, thing next to their name, you could actually uh, just hit them with this, and you could start a hangout, which, and that's a whole other class, but basically video conferencing, up to nine people can join. It's awesome. I do this with my son. We do this instead of Skype now, and it works really, really good. They don't have to have our service. If they have a Gmail account, it'll work for that as well. So that's kind of nice to know that. Uh, and even if they don't have a Gmail account, if you invite them using your your um, your 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 setup here, if you invite them, you know, by typing in their email address, you know, Amy at uh, Solver .net, you could invite them to chat. What it'll do is it'll send them an email and and suggest that they set up a Google account. So just uh, just something that sits there that you might use <clears throat> chatting. It's it's kind of nice. A lot of times I got to tell you though, I go to the cog. I go to chat, and I just shut it right off. I, I'm, I'm not using it that much. Um, <clears throat> but I am starting to use it with clients a little bit, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to click on that, save changes, and, and get rid of that. It kicks me out to the inbox. I always have to go back to settings, uh, to cog, go back to settings. And then there's other things, too. Um, um, labels, anything with your labels that you've created, any labels that you create show up here. So that's kind of, here's that boss label I created. I'll make this a little bigger. <clears throat> but the thing I wanted to also talk about is labs. There's a thing called labs here that basically, these are all little uh, special little widgets that you can enable or disable. And they're not ready for prime time. That's they're they're crazy experimental stuff that they're that they're playing with, and we I find some real gems in here. For example, your chat may be on the left hand side down the lower uh, lower left hand side. This little widget right here, right side chat. If you enable it and you have chat on, your chat shows up over here on the right hand side. It makes the screen a little easier. There are also some cool little things, um, canned responses if you wanted to. Uh, you just have to look through this, uh, but but these are not ready for prom time. But they act, they work great, and um, you know this one's pictures in chat, so I could enable that if I want to. That might be kind of interesting. Uh, signature tweaks, you know, different things like that. So check out the labs. If they don't work for you, just you just disable them again. If they work for you, you click on enable, so click on save changes, and now that feature is part of of whatever you have set up. Let me see. I'm going to see if there's anything else worth mentioning in here. If you do have the Google Chrome browser, I will tell you this. This is pretty awesome. This offline tab, you could actually create a little um, a little app. There, it, within Chrome, there are these um, these apps that you can install. There's a Chrome Web Store. <clears throat> and let me back up here. Let me show you how I got to that. By hitting a new tab in the browser, it comes up by default to this, and these are all the apps that I've installed. The Chrome Web Store are tons of cool things that you can use within the browser that might be handy to you, all right? But the one that I'm most interested in is this one. Uh, I'll go back to this, and it actually links us to that Chrome Web Store. When I go to um, offline, launch Gmail offline, there's actually a browser that you can install and basically when because a lot of people are saying well I don't really want to use a web browser because what if I don't have access to the web well problem solved if you if you launch that you can actually launch this Gmail offline and compose messages offline and it just works just like uh, it's similar to the to the web mail that we're showing you right now and you can do all this stuff offline, so when you connect back to, a, to the network, you can basically get back in. So that's a cool little, uh, little setup that you, can, that you might want to look into a little bit. Um, so those, this is on, on offline. 
So I'm not going to talk about any of this other stuff, but you can, you can look through it uh, when you have a moment. We're going to move on to the next thing, and that next thing is uh, Google Drive.